We're finally starting to decorate our apartment. This is the first video out of probably a lot of videos. We spent too much money today. Oh, wow. <gasps> I'm so excited for today. This is what we've been most excited for. We have a very big list, like a scroll. There's actually a lot more things I need to add to this list, but for now, these are the things that we're going to buy for now. We're putting this off because we're perfectionists and we want everything to be cute in our apartment, which means that comes with being more expensive. We've saved up all this money for this for moment. This. I want a bath mat as well, and I want it to be all quirky and cute. Yeah, and I'm like, same. do I just get one online? Do I go to the shops? Oh, it's so hard. And I want a cute little bin for my bathroom. I want like a cute spot to put my toothbrush and do oh yeah and we're really indecisive as well i think that's oh. coming as twins and we're both indecisive yeah and uh, you want the perfect thing and you don't want to make the wrong decision oh this is gonna be hard even like when it comes to pots and pans we want ceramic or what's the other one cast, cast iron. iron apparently non-stick is very toxic not apparently it is it very is. Toxic. it's got chemicals so don't get non-stick pans it's yeah. either cast iron or ceramic coated cast iron we learned that from Ian summer holder <laughs> he did a what i ate in a day and he's like don't get the non-stick i was like sweet i'll do anything that man says no non-stick it is as toxic as the day is long. Let's do this. Let's get oh, into it. I'm so excited. That was the most stressful shop, to be honest. We spent too much money today, but we actually didn't even buy that much. The things that we got, we really wanted to invest in, but everything that we didn't get is probably going to be like real cheap. And we went to David Jones and Myers, so I guess that basically tells you how much money yep. we spent. The first thing we want to show you are the towels that we bought. I'm so happy about these. Wait, let me put them in a pile and then you can see all the aesthetic colors. Yeah, yeah, ready? How pretty are the colors that we got? When we got it, the lady actually complimented it. How she pretty like, is that? She, she, she literally said, well done, those colors work so well. We don't like those towels to feel like it's not even soaking up any water. We call them the slippery towels. Slippery towels. So we we're hoping. I have a feeling they're going to be slippery towels. I have a feeling it's really hard to buy non-slippery towels because what are they coating the towels with, these honestly? They've got like a rib design. The brand of these towels, they're called Sheridan. Also, these were on sale. I think they were on sale from 40 down to like 20 bucks, the towel. It's yeah. actually pretty good that it we did. $23 per towel. Oh yeah, we have to wash those towels. When you buy towels, you have to wash them because it like sets the towel so it's ready to use. So I, I like that. That's I what did she not said. know that. <laughs> the sun's going down, so I also want to wash my bed. And I was supposed to get bed sheets and a bed cover today, but I'm thinking I might order them online. We should put a picture here of the bed cover that you want. I know, but I don't know if I'm going to order that okay, one. Okay, this is the one Renee thinking I want the cottage want. vibe. Yeah. I do. I want my room to look a bit lighter. This is really gross, but we haven't washed our bed sheets in that since we moved in. I have a feeling that's why I'm breaking out. I've been sleeping yeah. on a really dirty bed. <laughs> and also the mattress, like the outside of the mattress got a little bit dirty from moving. So we're thinking of taking that cover off and washing it. Which is good because I've got the Emma Sleep mattress and they have a removable cover where you can actually just wash it. So it's, it's so easy. This is not the bed that I've been sleeping on at my parents' place. This is the new bed, the Emma Sleep mattress. Finally get to sleep on the Emma Sleep bed. And I'm not even kidding. I've been having the best sleeps. Like I don't want to get up in the morning. I'm so comfortable. I didn't realize my bed at home was that bad. I knew it was. It is worth investing in a mattress. If you have a dodgy mattress right now and you're not sleeping well, it could be your mattress. So I'm telling you, invest in a really good mattress. Mm. We recommend recommend Emma Sleep. If you go on their website, you can see that they've done so much research and studies on how on to make mattress. on their mattresses on how to make you sleep the best, mm. best quality sleep. Renee's never slept on a mattress that has memory foam, which is like sculptures your body yeah. um, for like all different sleep sleepers. And this is her first time sleeping on a memory foam mattress. And look at you guys. I'm in good job. <laughs> actually know it. I knew it too. Well, I just want to say, usually when I go to sleep, I'm doing about 10 turns, like one side, no, not sleepy, turn on the mm. next side. I'm not even rolling. I literally don't remember falling asleep. Like, yeah. I'm not kidding. The Emma Sleep mattress does have cooling technology. Basically, it's going to help you sleep comfortably the whole night. Like I honestly get excited going to sleep now. Also, if you watched our previous video, you would have seen us put our beds together. And also Renee's bed frame is the Emma Sleep bed frame. Yeah. And if you watched the last video, it literally took us four minutes to put it together. I just timed us putting the bed together. Four minutes, 50. It's pretty good, eh? So good. Another thing I love about this Emma Sleep mattress is it's got motion isolation. So when I move, it's not gonna bother Harry because he likes <laughs> to sleep on the end of my bed and he doesn't move when I move. See? Wow, motion Harry. Motion isolation. Now try and jump up and knock him off. Knock him off? Yeah, you won't because it's got motion. Look, see? He doesn't even care. If you wanted to try out this mattress, Emma Sleep actually do have a 100 nights free trial at the comfort of your home. So you can try this mattress 
at home. Um, so if you do want to get anything from Emma Sleep, now's the time to do it because they do have a sale happening. It's the end of financial year sale, up to 60% off, and we do have a discount code. Use our code Hogan Twins for 5% off. This code can be used on top of the end of financial year sale. So you can get up to 60% off using our code Hogan Twins. We'll leave the link in the description box below. Thank you again, Emma Sleep, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Continuing on with this haul, we're going to start with the elephant in the room and we're going to start with this big boy. The thing is, we went to Maya and they didn't have any other garbage bin except this one. So this was the only choice that we had. Like we could have gone to somewhere else and get like a cheap one, like from Kmart or Target, yeah. but like, you we know us. In Maya. <laughs> I wanted a nice best. one. And this one's got technology in it, apparently. It's Joseph Joseph brand, so it's actually really good. Oh, what's this? Welcome to Intelligent Waste. Oh, it comes with little garbage bags. Odor filter. It's got an odor filter. It's oh. not gonna smell. You actually have to change the filter. Oh shit. We got something really fancy. <laughs> Apartments. Oh, okay, no. wait, move out of the way. I'm gonna take the box away now. It's open. Wow. What's going on here? No <laughs> way. No way. Oh, no. Jams. Look at this. Oh. No, it's on wheels. And it just rolls in. Get out. Ow. Get out. Don't jam your hair. <laughs> okay, so this goes in there like that. Recycling and garbage all in one. Recycling garbage all in one. And this thing's for um, scraps. Okay, the next thing that we got. I'm, I'm really, really excited, about, excited about this. I'm going to say this about every single thing. These seem really easy to break. How could we not? Like with that. the ribbed, like. Oh my god, I'm so And the colour, it's giving retro. They're called the Wave Glass set of two in amber. And the brand is Fiziki? Physique. Physique. You can get them online as well. Yeah. And you can get them in green, pink. We we're having green trouble trying to pick the colour that we wanted, but we, yeah. we went for amber. Well, I am really excited about this. The I just didn't pick this one. I couldn't say no. It's so pretty. <sighs> this is a teacup. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a teapot. This one is $89.95, and the brand is Chris. Christina Ray. It says 24 karat gold trimmed. No way. Must be lined with 24 karat. Something very beautiful comes with this teapot. It's a tea strainer. Like you put it on top of a pretty glass and then you pour your tea like this. The next thing that we got is actually something that I picked out, but we both fell in love with it. They are coasters. The prettiest coasters ever. They're gonna go with the bar cart that we're gonna get eventually. I didn't think that we would be this quick to get coasters because I thought we were gonna be really fussy to find the ones we want, right? They just popped up in front of our eyes yep. and they are perfect. So we got these ones from David Jones. Yeah, they're the same brand as the teapot, Christina Ray. Mm. These are our coasters. So they're like marbly gold white and it's got the gold around there. And our bar cart that we're gonna get has gold around it. So it's gonna go perfectly. And they just sit really nicely on top of each other. The next thing we got was some more glasses. These are gonna be the water glasses for our guests. Ta-da! The thing I love about these is how light they are. And they're so thin. And I like how it's like all just flat. Like it's all folded. Like, I don't know, it's all, it's something about this glass that I'm obsessed with. It's milky. But yeah, we got four of these. They're a popular brand, Mason Balzac. <laughs> I'm really excited to show you this thing. But look, we got pink. We got pink, pink fry pans, saucepans. Ooh. It's a six piece set and they're free of these chemicals, PFAS free, non-stick coating. This is the last bag, I think, at Maya. First thing we got is a grater. Oh, this one's so cool. It's a grater and it's got this plastic thing at the bottom to collect all your cheese and carrot and shit. How yeah, cool is that? that thing. We got a strainer, the classic strainer. I think it's called a colander. Colander or Maybe. strainer. Stainless steel sieve. Sieve. No. Oh no. It's not a colander. Why have we got a big sieve? It's to get rid of the flour clumps. Oh, it's for cooking. No. I, I hope you can use that as a sieve. Uh, colander. Ooh. I forgot about these. I'm excited. We got cutlery, but not just any cutlery. They're actually really good quality cutlery. We couldn't walk away from these. So we got the Robert Welch. There's actually, it's a 26 piece, 24 piece. Designed in Cotswolds. Ooh. Oh, six place sets. I want to go there one That's day. That's perfect. So it's for six people. Then you take this foam off. <gasps> How velvet. gorgeous is this? Oh, hopefully it's the right one that we got. Oh no, it's not. <gasps> Damn it! I know this is silly, but we're actually gonna return these knives and forks because they're not the ones that we liked. Good morning. It's been a few days since that last clip. We totally forgot to show you something in the hall. I'll go get it. Mm. We shouldn't be drinking out of our Christmas mugs. I know. So we got ourselves each a plate. So it's like a really like nice retro plate. We got these ones from David Jones and the brand is Roundhouse. We weren't gonna get a fancy plate, but we do a lot of filming. Like we take photos of our food and then we also like do filming for HelloFresh. So we thought, why not get a cute plate? 
for those times. I just love how retro it is and I love the colors because they're the kind of colors that we're gonna put in our living room. Also, I did buy something else online. Renee actually showed me this website. It's called Temple and Webster and it's really like coffee. Oh, that's yours. But obviously I don't have the items with me right now, but I want to show you what I picked up from Temple and Webster. I'll put a picture here. So the first thing I got is a bin for my bathroom and it's so cute. It looks like a pot with a plant in it. The lid is the plant, so you just like, hold the plant and just like lift it up. Oh my god, it's giving Harry Potter like. <laughs> oh, it is too. It's giving Harry Potter. And Renee also got the same style, but in like, what do you call those things? Like a Toilet brush. scrubber. Toilet scrubber. Um, and then we also picked up um, a non-slip like mat thing to go under our rug so our rug doesn't slip around. I don't think we told you that we purchased our rug. We've been looking at this rug before we even got the apartment mm -hmm. and we're designing our whole living room off this rug and all the colors in it. The colors that we're going off is like orange, pink, green yellow and a dark brown and yeah. a blush pink which you said yeah yeah so there's no blue in the rug so we're not sure if we should add a bit of blue in mm. to the living room but yeah. we found some cool pillows and it's got this really pretty blue in the pillows and i'm mm. like is it bad to bring some blue in oh yep. my god i think i know what duna cover i want um it's from delacours they have really cute princess bit like bed quilts i don't even know what we call them see i know what quilt cover i want but it's out of stock everything that i want is out of stock i swear like i like everything that everyone else likes but i want orange and pink and i have this quilt cover that i really want i'm like imprinting on it but it's 500 dollars, and i'm like i do not want to spend 500 dollars on a quilt cover right now we are so fussy with the throw that we want to put on our lounge and we found one that literally it's gonna go perfectly like we hope i love like the patch work on it same it's getting like english or something there's a lot of shapes on it mm. like we don't really have straight lines we have a lot of circles going on in our rug so this throw has a lot of lines lines so, so i, I feel know. like that's fine i that's feel like fine. retro you, can, you can't go wrong we know retro they bring a check it a lot of check-ins in but we're not doing check-in uh, check-in reminds me of like american store like american um cafeteria, cafeteria a little bit for the tv cabinet we have no idea what we're gonna get yet so if you guys have any idea we don't know if we want wood I don't think we want wood. I don't think I want wood in the living room because it's not really, there's no wood in this place. No. Maybe white? No, it's a bit white. A bit blocky. Mm. I kind of want it to be small. Like I don't want it to be too much. I know I want some storage to be in it too because the apartment has no storage. We still don't know what coffee table we're getting. We thought that we were going to get the glass round table, coffee table, but then I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want glass in there. Like it might just, mm. maybe, maybe that will be good. Glass. The glass one. The glass one is just classic, clean. Yeah. It's not hiding too much of the rug. Like mm. it's not taking the rug away. Let's get the glass. Let's get the glass one, I reckon. Screw it. We're also looking for a dining table, but we're gonna put the dining table out on our balcony because there's no room in our living area. We actually looked at a couple last night and we found the perfect one. So I called the store, which was, the store's called Freedom, and there's none in stock. We are looking at another one that's on Amart. We're not purchasing things because we're going away for two nights and we don't wanna not be here when something arrives. So we've just been putting off buying things. But there is one that we found at Amart that we might purchase, eh? Hey? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just get it. Or is it two day delivery? We have to yeah, wait. It's really we'll quick. We'll wait and come back. We'll wait. We'll do it over the weekend. And it's actually a really good price too. Like we were looking at dining chairs and tables, and they, they were like three thousand dollars. But the one we're looking at includes all the chairs, the table, and only for like eight hundred dollars. Our bin came with this little bag. It says, welcome to Intelligent Waste. And it has some random stuff in there. I'm not really sure. Oh, they're good ones. I think we got bags. It says odor filter. And I don't think there's a filter on the bin. So I think we're going to have to put that in. They feel like the compost bins. Oh, they are. Yeah. Close, lid and remove filter. This is what the filter looks like. It looks like something that you scrub your dishes with. And it just goes in like that. Boom. Lid on it. Done. First thing in the bin. Look at our pots and pans. You didn't get to see them in nice lighting, but here they are. Nice and pink and beautiful. They remind me of Spencer, like on TikTok, where her whole house is pink. I used both of these last night and it's like, it didn't even stain and I cooked spaghetti. And we read the reviews and people said that these handles get really hot, but they didn't. Now we need to find an area in the kitchen where we're gonna put them. I'm thinking yeah. a big, big drawer. Just in there. I reckon we fit them all in there, right? Yeah. Next up, we're gonna put our towels in the linen cupboard. The only thing with our linen cupboard, it is very full. Look at this. This is our linen cupboard at the moment. It's got all of our candles. We're using it as storage. So I don't know where we're gonna put our towels. We have to make some room. Eventually when we get like um, our TV cabinet coffee table, we're gonna be using our decor. But right now we have nowhere to put our decor. So it's being stored in here until we find the furniture. I reckon you move all of this stuff into that drawer and then we put the towels here. Maybe they can go flat. There we go. That looks so much better. And the colors are so pretty. I love it. 
Next, we have to put away all of this kitchenware and the glasses. So we gotta find areas to put that. Usually glasses are up. Usually they're here, like we've got all these. Most of this is going on the bar cart. Maybe take the stuff that you want to put on the bar cart in another cupboard. We're thinking we're going to put plates in this cupboard right next to the dishwasher. I don't know about it. Jasmine thinks this is really good, convenient because this is the dishing spot. So all you have to do is just like boom, 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 done. The other good spot for them is here. Yeah, but we're storing the air fryer in like some random other Appliances. things that we don't use. Plates on top, bowls on the bottom. Done. So if you've never seen a box grater, this is how you do it. You get the container, you, you put this over the top. See, it doesn't come off. How good is that? It doesn't even come oh off. God, I love that. And then you just put the container off. We found a website called Frankie's and we found some really cute pink spatula like cooking utensils. They have really cute stuff. Okay, cool. We're also gonna get some measuring cups, like a measuring set and they're also pink. So we can't put away our teapot. Well, we're going to put it somewhere in the drawer, but we're going to put the teapot on the bar cart. I actually know it's not. Maybe on display here. I reckon. Like with the tea station. It looks perfect there. I feel like that just looks so pretty in the packaging. Like I don't even want to take it out. Like what do we do? Should we just like keep it in the packaging and be like, here's the tea station. <laughs> We're just about to head off to go for our second shop for the apartment, like grocery shopping. We're going to Woolies. A lot of people said that Aldi's is a lot cheaper, but I'm not bothered to try and find an Aldi. Like I know where Woolies is. And also, I like the brands in Aldi, I'm sorry. And they don't bag it. They're just like, it's like too stressful. But we've got all these reusable bags. We have a lot of reusable bags. Guys, if you're going grocery shopping, please bring bags with you. <laughs> That was a smaller shop than I thought because we are in a rush. We were literally like, we don't have long because we have so much to do before we go. We're going out tonight. Okay, we're going out tonight. We're going out to Brisbane for the first time while living here. Yeah. And we're going to Uber it because we're going to have some drinks. We're meeting a friend out there too. Might as well just tell you who it is. First time meeting this person actually. It's His name's Daniel Rhodes. We follow him on TikTok. He does really funny TikToks. But he reached out because he's moving to London. So he came to Brisbane to visit his cousin. So he like messaged us and was like, hey, like if you're around, like, let's yeah. go catch up for dinner. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. Cool. Should we do a little haul? So we basically went into Woolies to get breakfast. We want to make our own bagel because we, we've been delivering O bagels. It's so yummy. Mm. So to save money, we bought our own bagels. And then we also got some cream cheese. Got some more bread. We're going to put tomato on the bagel, some avocado. Renee likes this type of tomato. I like these tomatoes. We only got half a dozen because we're going away tomorrow for two nights and we don't want them to go off. They're probably not going to go off. We got a pizza, spinach pizza. We got our favorite meagering in the Suman brand. Cheese, butter. We picked up some plant-based chicken style tenders. I don't know, I literally just like saw them and they yum. We got some tuna, We've got some frozen vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, peas, trying to be healthy. We got some bolognese because we had bolognese last night. So I just wanted to replace this. We really wanted to get some vegan meat pies, but that we could not find vegan meat pies anywhere. We have been eating chicken. So we picked up some chicken and vegetable pies. Not sure if they're any good, but we probably get chicken about once a week now. Finally picked up some tea. We've been craving tea and now we finally have it. Thank you. We've got Harry some more cat food. Anyway, that's it. How much have we spent? 130, 130 bucks. It's not bad. Bagels. First time we're using our plates. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh my. Very good. Mm. I love the doughiness in bagels. Mm. That's thick. Good morning. It is 9.47 in the morning. Last night was so Amazing. good. Daniel is so funny. I could be besties with him. That was so fun. Like I was laughing so hard. But we actually just got a package and we don't know what it is. It's something that we ordered for the house. So we thought we'd unbox it with you because this whole video is about um, decorating our apartment. Look at all that sticky it's, tape. It's from Temple and Webster. It actually could be those bins that I was talking to you about. A lot of tape. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, it's bigger than I expected. It's so it's a cool. big pot, eh? <gasps> wow. What's that? Oh, returning boxes maybe? Oh, we're not returning this shit. This is wow. sick. Look at this. Ta-da. So exciting. Oh, yours is sick. No. Oh, it's rubber. And there it is. <laughs> so to get in my bin, sit 
just like this and you just take it off like that and put your rubbish in there. Fucking way that is so the cool. The coolest thing. There's the bin. Oh, what? And then That's sick. Like that. And the little flower. Oh, it's oh, so I cute. I could have got them both. They actually look pretty good together, eh? I already know where I'm putting mine. I'm gonna go right here in the corner. Like that. It looks so Shut that. I don't know if there's any skitties. <laughs> That's so cute. You can just rest it there and be like, yeah, and then take it off like that. Yeah, perfect. Do I have something in my teeth? <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, in the middle? <laughs> the whole time. We hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to end it here because we're actually going to an event. So we're going to like start another video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. Um, we read all your comments. If we don't respond, we're really sorry, but we do read them all and they make us so happy. We'll see you in our next video. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.